Hey Love Pavoni people, John Houck here. Just uh, want to show you a few uh, fluid simulations that I ran on the uh, Love Pavoni group heads. And this one here uh, is our Generation 3 uh, group head. The water area here is the area outside of the plastic sleeve. Uh, so we're not actually looking into the brew chamber. Uh, this is the where the water comes in through the siphon tube. And this is where the water exits this blue area uh, that, that I've identified uh, into the brew chamber. So the piston would be raised up, uh, exposes this inlet, and then the water would enter the brew chamber. And I set all the water in the group head to 90 degrees Celsius. That's why it's blue. And then I'll be injecting 120 degrees Celsius water through the siphon tube. And you'll be able to see the temperature water as it swirls around here. So let me go ahead and get that started. And you can see the uh, water quickly cools as it comes out of the siphon tube. And you can see the water here coming into the brew chamber starting to warm up. Uh, we got this uh, light blue, which is just under 100 degrees Celsius. Now it's green, which is 100 degrees Celsius, and it's continuing to warm up. And you'll notice over here on this side, uh, we still have a big chug, uh, chunk of uh, 90 degrees Celsius water that hasn't really mixed in. Uh, with the hot water coming out of the uh, siphon tube. Anyway, I thought that might be interesting for you to look at and um, uh, and, uh, and and ponder. Uh, this next video, let me pause it here real quick and explain what's going on here, is we rotated the sleeve 180 degrees, so that way this inlet now is in the front of the group head. I don't know if you can see it. There's a light outline of what the actual uh, group head uh, looks like. And uh, this is uh, Bong's idea, and so we just rotated the sleeve, and we didn't worry about the threads because we can do stuff like that in CAD without worrying about uh, it going up or down. And uh, one thing you'll notice here uh, with Bong's idea moving the channel towards the front is um, uh, a lot more blue water, a lot more cool water enters the brew chamber um, before it starts warming up. We still have a little bit of stagnant uh, cool water down here and, and up in the upper left, but for the most part, uh, it does a nice job of consuming the cooler water before introducing the hotter water into the brew chamber. And now we have... Um, uh, the same situation with the hole in the front, but we got rid of the channel, and this was one of his modifications, is just to get rid of that channel uh, to see what would happen. And so I removed the channel and just let the water uh, come in through that hole and uh, see what, the, what that looks like. It's very similar to the previous video, but it looks to me like we're getting a little bit more blue water through there. I, I'm not sure. It, it looks like it's a little bit cooler this way. Hard to, hard to know for sure. Uh, one thing I want to point out is I'm not simulating the interaction with the, the metal uh, in the uh, group head, so there's a lot of simplification going on here, not really modeling exactly what's going on. Um, but it's here just to give you an idea of uh, what might possibly be going on in that group head. Now, this one here is a little bit more fantasy, as uh, we looked at the uh, Stradivaria uh, group head, and um, we noticed that uh, the outside of the group head is quite a bit larger in volume, but the inside is identical to the Generation 3. So we thought, what if we had a machinist go through and, and hollow out uh, the area around the sleeve, just to give us some more area for cooler 90 degrees Celsius water. Uh, so you can see that this blue area is a lot larger. And leave the channel in the front, uh, like we did on the second video, and see what that looks like. Uh, all these all these simulations are done under the same conditions, same inlet uh, flow and, and uh, outlet pressures uh, in the same time of three seconds. So uh, that'll help you compare apples to apples. Uh, one thing uh, um, I do want to do here, let me pause it real quick, is uh, regardless of which simulation we're running, um, you'll notice that if you put your temperature probe on the front of the group head, a lot of people use those, uh, those adhesive stickers, um, just kind of look what's going on there with where your adhesive sticker is. Now, again, this is the simulation. I'm not including the uh, interaction with the temperature of the steel. Uh, that's that's around the um, uh, around the water here and the thermal conductivity of that and how that all works. Uh, way too complicated for me these days. So, um, in any case, let me hit play here and let you finish watching that. Anyway, I hope this has been useful and uh, interesting and maybe uh, simulate some discussions and ideas. So we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.